What is this? Upheaval. Is there a new map back yet? Tell me about. No, guys, this is World War. Believe it or not, you know, I, I had a friend who heard from a friend who heard from a guy on Twitter who heard from another guy that World of War was patched and it was good to go again. And so I had to, hear, I had to try this out for myself. So I get on, and believe it or not, it's not patched. It's kind of patched to an extent. There's, like, one mod website out there that's kind of, like, fucking this game up. It's pissing me off. It's, like, Theo's Mods or some stupid faggy-ass shit like that. Um, if you actually remember... If any of you guys follow Pyro Puncher or Paul or the Irish guy who eats potatoes or whatever on YouTube, he mostly does Minecraft now. He used to do a lot of Call of Duty. Um, in Mom Warfare 2, he got into a 10th Prestige lobby, and it was like the first that a lot of people have actually heard of like a 10th Prestige lobby. And like, is that possible? Can he do that? And he posted a video saying he got into a 10th Prestige lobby, and you know, he I gave a link to his friend who could do it, and his friend was like a part of Theo's mods. And those are the people who are modding World of War, and it's really beginning to piss me off. I mean, World of War is a great game. It's a lot of gun-on-gun -gun action compared to, you know, any other Call of Duty. If there's one flaw to this game, I'd say it's the snipers. I'd say because so many people snipe, because, you know, when the quadtage came out, everyone's like, oh, God, that's amazing. Or when uh, Zergriz is, what the fuck's name that montage, um... Impulse. I think it's World War montage is called Impulse. I'm not sure. Uh, everyone just snipes, and, you know, they play war and ground war, and... You know, these people are always sniping and aiming towards spawns, and ah, it just bugs me. So, when, you know, when we don't get into a lobby where there's text on the screen or people fly around here. We get into lobbies where everyone is just sniping, and you're, like, forced to use Jug. And that's, like, the only part. I mean, I love this game. This is what got me into the Call of Duty scene. And, you know, I started out in Call of Duty 4, like, way back when, you know. And, you know, I didn't really know what I was doing. I had maybe, you know, like, you know. 16 hours playtime or whatever. Like we didn't play that much really. Then when World of War came out, we're like, all right, let's go. We're gonna get we're gonna get into this Call of Duty series here, and we you know we know what we were doing. We were just having fun, and you know that's what World of War reminds me. I mean, when I think of World of War, I remember those times. You know how fun the game was when you're completely fresh to the Call of Duty series and you're learning everything for the first time. And what this game taught me, and you know, like this, what I. Like, I kind of think this like, sets me apart as a player. Is World of War teaches you a couple things. One, they teach you to shoot fast. I mean, I, I, I decided to name this video uh, Trigger Finger Pro because, you know, I'm shooting cra I'm shooting so quick in this game that they actually uh, mod block me. And mod blocking, they put it in there so that, because, uh, okay. If, if some of you may not know, I mean, okay, that's, that's a legitimate scenario. You know, some people may not know this. Okay, in World of War, the rifles, there's only one of them that's automatic. The rest are semi-automatic like this one. This one's the American M1A1 carbine. It's a really good gun. You unlock it at level 65. It's supposedly the best gun in the game in terms of unlocking, you know, it's the very last gun you unlock. And so with every gun being semi-automatic in terms of rifles, except for one, you know, you're forced to learn how to shoot fast or at least get some accuracy. And that's what this game taught me. One, I can shoot hella fast with any semi-auto. Two, I can aim pretty well. I mean, with, when it comes to Samuel, I can aim pretty well. For whatever reason, I don't aim well with full auto. And let me pick up these guys here. I mean, just look at look at the tr look at the trigger finger right here. And that's what this game has taught me. That's why this game's fun to me. You know, you have that accuracy combined with a really fast trigger finger. Like people call it a jerk off finger. I don't understand how that makes sense because you know who jerks off with their finger. But you know, you learn how to shoot fast and you learn how to aim. And this game, in all honesty, is a lot of gun on gun because it doesn't have the Modern Warfare 2 kill streaks. It doesn't have you know the world or the um, Black Ops kill streaks. While kill streaks do stack, you know it's UAV artillery strike, which is so much more badass than an airstrike or mortar strike from uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. And you know dogs instead of attack helicopter. Now dogs, you know some people may not know. Some people, if you do know, you know just enjoy the ride and explain to other people. You know some people may not know that the dogs are actually a two bite kill because there's only seven kill streaks, not the one bite from. Uh, Call the Black Ops or a two bite kill, but they're still pretty damn good. And if a person's not paying attention, they will get eaten up by these dogs because they do tend to eat bullets and you do tend to miss your knife. Because in World of War, the knifing system is like terrible, which in my opinion makes it good because I hate knifing. And you know, the fact that these people are can't knife you that well or panic knife you makes this game pretty good. And right here, you can tell I'm mod block. Still slow, I'm shooting right here. They mod block me. How can they mod block me? <laughs> I'm gonna run back up the stairs here, saying so pick up a few more people, just one or two maybe, looking for them. I really want to, really want to get to a part where I'm start shooting, so you guys can see right here. Right, I'm shooting as fast as I can right now, and it's not letting me shoot fast. I mean, look at it, boom, 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 boom. That's so stupid. But the game's gonna be coming around to an end, guys. But I just want to let y'all know, World of War's fun. I mean, y there are people s still modding it. You know, people still and not as bad as COD 4, not nearly as bad as COD 4. So if you're thinking that, it's not nearly as bad as COD 4. Not nearly, but you know, it's still kind of rough to get into certain lobbies, especially at night time. It's got to be, you got to be playing during the day sometime to uh, get into a decent lobby. But final score there of 37-5-5, five five, 
Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like some World at War, give me a thumbs up. If you don't like World at War, give me a thumbs down. If you think my commentary is garbage, give me a thumbs up because I love you too. Until then, this has been Nero, and I uh, hope you guys have a great day and enjoy the after-action report.